Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install TWRP on your Pixel 2. Now this also works for the XL of course, and of course you'll need an unlocked bootloader. Now there are a few ways of doing this, but or in using TWRP, but we'll be using the method where we actually install it to our phone, which is uh, a little bit different. So make sure you read anything or everything in the more info and just uh, listen to what I say. I'll give you some good pointers, make sure you keep up to date with all this because I think it is quite important that you know what you're doing. So let's get started. First off, we'll need to download a few things and this is where I'll talk about what you need to look out for when using TWRP. Now first up, you'll need the SDK platform tools. Now this is just ADB and Fastboot. If you already have it on your computer, just make sure it's the latest version and you can check by typing in ADB double dash version or ADB version. So you need to download the one that is right for your operating system. You just click on it and then agree to the terms and conditions and then hit the blue download button. Pretty easy. Next up, we're going to take a look at the XDA thread for TWRP. Of course, there is the Google Pixel 2 XL thread for this as well. It's separate, but it is mainly the same thing. So there is a big note saying, do not use if you have multiple users, including a guest user. So make sure you haven't touched that before. And if you have, I think you just remove the guest user, which is what I've done. But uh, you may need to reset your phone before using TWRP to make sure everything goes really well. And this is just uh, some quick stuff going on about the two slots, uh, well, layout for the pixels. Now you can change it using TWRP, but it will automatically detect what you have. Installation is also a little bit different from, I guess, a conventional installation since the recovery element is actually built into the boot image, kind of like the Sony phones out there. So you will need to flash something in TWRP once you boot the TWRP image. So I think we can get started off this. You'll need to go to the TWRP download page where it also has the download links and installation guide. So you can just download from one of the primary links. And when you download TWRP, depending on how you want to use it, for example, you only need it when you're at your computer, then you can just download the image and boot off the image and use TWRP like that whenever you need to. But if you like to use TWRP on the go or you just prefer having TWRP installed on your phone, you'll need to download the installer zip as well. So the zip is the flashable one usually. Uh, maybe it doesn't have installer. Maybe they'll change up the names later on, but you want the zip file if you want to install TWRP. You just want the image file in order to boot TWRP, so to use it temporarily. But if you want to install TWRP, you need both the zip file, the installer, and you both, and, and you will need the TWRP image to boot off of. Now that that's out of the way, installing TWRP using the zip method, using the installer, will also remove uh, your root access. So you'll need to reroute your phone again. So just download the latest version of Magisk here. Just scroll down and download here the latest version of Magisk. So all in all, you should have about four files. Here are the, um, these files that you need. So we've got our platform tools zip. We have our TWRP installer. We have our TWRP image to boot off of. And we have our Magisk installer zip. So you want to copy the zip files, the TWRP installer and the Magisk zip file onto your phone. Now I'm just going to copy it to my internal storage like so. You can see it at the bottom here. So once that's done, you can pretty much leave your phone and we're going to do the fun stuff now. So you need to connect up your phone to your computer and from there we're going to well, boot TWRP and install it. So before we begin, we'll need to open up the platform tool zip file. Now this is just so we can extract the ADB and fastboot executables. If you've already set up the platform tools on your computer, you don't need to do this step. Uh, I'm just showing you guys. So for those who don't have it installed for some whatever reason, this is how you do it real quick. Uh, we may need ADB, so I guess it's just all right to extract these. So you want to extract the ADB exe, the two DLLs, fastboot.exe, and the libwinp thread one DLL. Just drag those into the same folder that we have all our files in. It's going to get crowded a little bit, but we can close the platform tools zip file after that. Once that's done, we can now boot into the bootloader. So to do this, you need to go to your phone, of course. You can leave the USB plugged in. In fact, it might be easier if you have it plugged in. And then what you want to do is hold the power button and then press restart. And as soon as the screen goes black or turns off, you want to hold the volume down button. 
So when it freezes as well, you can start holding volume down and that'll get you into the bootloader. Just keep holding it until your phone does show the bootloader screen, like so. Don't worry if it moves up there, that's fine. So once your phone is plugged in, we can now boot the TWRP image. Now to do that, we are also going to need to use the ADB, uh, sorry, the fastboot exe that we've extracted. So to do this, you need to change, you need to open up a command prompt window or a PowerShell window or terminal to this very location, this same folder, wherever it is. You can check up there in the address bar. So what you can do is hold shift and right click in an empty space and you'll be presented with one of the following options. Open command window here, open PowerShell window here, or any other terminal emulation program that you may have. I'm going to be using the Ton EMU because it's just easier to see for you guys. Now after adjusting it so you can see what you're doing and making sure that the path up here has changed or the directory has changed to the same one where all your files are at. So if I do dir, this is to show whatever's in the directory, you can see that it can find the fastboot and ADB executables. Although your TWRP image can be placed somewhere else, it doesn't really matter where it is, but it's just convenient to have everything in one location. So what we need to do is make sure our phone has been detected by our computer. So we can type in fastboot devices. And you can see if our phone is connected, you can see its serial number put down there. Next up, we're going to boot the TWRP image. So we can do this by typing in fastboot boot, leave a space on the end here and drag in the TWRP image and hit enter. Now your phone will automatically reboot and boot off the TWRP image. Now this is um, good if you want to use TWRP temporarily. For example, you just want to make a quick backup and then you don't want to permanently install TWRP on your phone. Now that is okay. You just need to boot the image just like what we did here and that should be fine. Now one more thing I must say is that Every security update has the potential to break TWRP in many different ways. I guess the most notable one may be not being able to mount or decrypt the data partition as you can see here. We just make it bigger. This is the same um, password or passcode or pattern as the one on your lock screen. Now if you don't have an encrypted device, um, maybe you've decided to decrypt your data partition early on when rooting your phone, uh, then you probably won't have that screen. Hopefully not. So yeah. Be careful with security updates as it may break TWRP and when you update your phone after installing TWRP, which I'll show you in just a second, uh, you will need to reinstall it as it is bundled within the boot image, which is obviously replaced on every update. So I'll be showing that in future update videos as well. So currently we're booted into TWRP, but this is obviously not permanent. So in order to install TWRP, we're going to tap on the install button and then scroll down until we find the TWRP Pixel 2 installer for of course the model of your pixel. Just swipe to flash that and of course download the latest one or at least download the latest versions of TWRP for the latest versions of Android. Perhaps if you're running an older version of Android you may want to try the older images. So this will install TWRP into the A and B slots so depending on or it doesn't matter which one you swap to you'll have TWRP access. So that is done. Now of course we need to reinstall Magisk as TWRP replaces or removes root access as part of its patching process. So we can press back and then tap on Magisk and swipe to flush that. And now this is just going to of course root our phone as usual. And this will also I think patch the DTBO image. So you will get a pop up saying that there has been a modification to your device whenever you turn on your device, which is a little bit annoying, but maybe in another video I'll show you how to get rid of that and not let Magisk do that. And once you've installed Magisk again, you can tap on Reboot System and you should be fine. So we're going to wait for our phone to boot up all the way into Android and then I'll reboot my phone back into Recovery where we can see TWRP installed on our phone without needing our computer to boot into it. Okay, so here it is, the Android system internal issue. Don't worry about that. That is just from Magisk. And our phone booted up really quickly, which is good. And everything works quite well. No data has been lost. 
So now let's reboot into the recovery. I'm going to disconnect the USB so there's no funny business going on. And what we need to do is we can do it via the bootloader, but I think we can hold volume up instead. So we can tap on restart, and as soon as the restart screen freezes or turns black, hold volume up like so. And just keep holding it until you see the, I guess, the Google logo. Okay, never mind. Any button you hold seems to boot you into. Okay, never mind. Let's just reboot into the recovery mode. So you have to get into the bootloader. There we are. So we're in TWRP now. Now we'll just do a quick test. We're going to back up our EFS partition, which is quite important to do as my Nexus 6P didn't have one, or I didn't back it up, and it lost its IMEI, and now you can't make any calls with it or use it as a phone, which is uh, probably not too useful. So let's just do a example backup just to see that it works, EFS, and we're going to swipe to back it up. And you should see it, work, it should work quite well. Excellent. So that's good. Make sure that works, and we're just going to reboot back into the system. So I guess just one more word that I'd like to say is that now your phone is ready to try out any custom ROMs that may be released in the near future. Hopefully that's soon because I would love to have a look at some ROMs on the Pixel 2. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. This is how you install TWRP on your Pixel 2 or 2XL. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below on, in the more info or in the comments section I should say. And of course don't forget to read everything and anything you see because it could help you and it could tell you that something's not compatible or whatever it may be. So it's very important that you read. Now that being said guys, thanks for watching and as always, happy flashing.